Oh, what's up, guys? Yo, I learned something new today. So you know what that means. When I learn something new, you learn something new. And what I learned new today was... What's up, guys? Joshua Tubbs here from Customatic with another one, another one, and another one. So today we're talking about synchronizing your audio. Now, if you're like me, you shoot your audio separate than your camera. But synchronizing your footage and post can be a little tedious, especially when you shot a lot of different clips and you record a lot of different audio and you don't got time codes and stuff. Ah. So I'm just gonna go through two ways of synchronizing your audio. Now, a lot of you guys probably see those people in the movies and they have their thing and they say, and action, and then it's called the slate and it has all the information about the movie on there, whatnot. The reason they clap it is because it makes the audio spike. Now that audio spike, you're actually able to see in the actual waveform of the audio. So when you take your audio into post with your footage, you can actually see the spike and you can line that up manually. What we do if we don't have a slate, we can just simply clap before you do your take. Now that gives me that sound clap and I can see it visually and line it up. Now another way to synchronize your audio, which I just found out about the other day, and I've been using Premiere for years, is there's a synchronized option in Premiere. What? So here is a video I shot with Vic Mensa. Now this is the raw footage and the raw audio coming from the camera. You know, a lot of people might feel as if their vote um, doesn't hold weight. Now I also shot separate audio. So this is the clean audio I want to replace the interview with. Moved from her because of her crime. So what we do is drag the audio underneath one another on the timeline. Highlight both clips, right click on either one, and go up to synchronize. Then make sure you click audio, track channel one to synchronize with, and hit OK. Then you sit back and wait. After Premiere is done synchronizing, your clips should be totally lined up perfectly. So now we can go ahead and delete the scratch audio and keep our clean audio. And now the final product sounds like this. Something that was paramount to me in the projection of this project. Oh, you like that alliteration? How did I not know about this? If you didn't know about this and you've been using Premiere, please comment below and let me know so I know I'm not alone. This makes my life so much easier. So I hope this helps you guys out on your next project. If you got any questions, you can leave a comment below or hit me up on Twitter at Customatic. But anyways, keep in the road with digital content. My name is Joshua Tuck. I will see you in the next one. Oh, this elevator is going down. You can actually add these LUTs to your clips in easier way by doing it all at one time.